In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function. So we're going to use the quotient rule. So recall the quotient rule says, if you have f over g and you take the derivative, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. So that is the formula for the quotient rule. Let's go ahead and use it in this problem. So f prime of x. Now, we should keep in mind that in this problem, c is a constant. So the derivative of c is 0. So c squared is also a constant, so its derivative will also be 0. So when we take the derivative, uh, the c squared is going to be 0. OK, so now we're going to start by taking the derivative of the top. So the derivative of c squared is 0 because it's a constant. The derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. So this is the derivative of the first times the bottom, or the second piece, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom. And again, when you're taking the derivative of the bottom piece, the derivative of c squared is 0, and the derivative of x squared is 2x all divided by the bottom piece squared. So c squared plus x squared, and the whole thing is squared. So again, it's the derivative of the top, which is negative 2x, times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. OK, let's clean this up. Let's go ahead and distribute. So this is equal to, go ahead and write it one more time here, f prime of x. So negative 2x times c squared is going to give us negative 2x c squared. This one and this one will become negative 2x cubed. Then we have to distribute this 2x to the c squared along with the negative sign. So it'll be negative 2x c squared. Ooh, this is the last piece a little, little, little bit tricky here. So 2x cubed and then negative and negative. So it'll be a positive 2x cubed here at the end. And then it's all being divided by that bottom piece, which is c squared plus x squared, and the whole thing is squared. So these go away. This is equal to negative 4x c squared. And on the bottom we have c squared plus x squared quantity squared. And that is the final answer. That's it.